know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Now, yeah, welcome back. I know, this is a mega marathon. Three fucking days. Three fucking days to do this fucking Indian makeaway. Fucking hell. Now, to be honest, it normally does take about three days. Because if you notice, I normally start on Friday night, Saturday, and then finish off on Sunday. So as I started this on Sunday, and I've had to go to work, we are a bit behind schedule. So, oh, fucking hell, we're finally getting there. We are finally getting there. So, I hope everyone's had a nice day at work, or whatever. I'm just chilling out with my groovy tunes. I want to feel that, I want to feel that vibe, man. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. So, we're doing it, right? Now, the corn was mostly done. That's in a safe place. The rice is done. The barges are caught. Cool. I have done, the, uh, when I got back from work to, earlier today, on this afternoon, um, I done some more barges, but I just done them slightly differently. So I done them. Uh, you might notice the difference. I don't know, but the reason why I done that is because I uh, got a bit peckish during the night last night, and I ate some of my own barges. I know I got high on my own supply. Who the fool? Hey, fuck me. Right, okie dokie. It's all about the moment, the dough. Now the oven is going to go up and I'm going to put that up the temperature now. That's on about 1, 170. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we need to create, we need to create a little bit of garlic business going on. Now, uh, I want it garlicky. And this is the dough I'm talking about, okay? So we're doing the dough at the moment. Now, the very last things that are gonna be done is that the, uh, the corn will be on, we'll sort that out, we'll add some more cream or whatever we need to do to it to get it finally, it's almost finished off. Um, and the very last things that we're gonna be doing is the bomb making the Bombay potatoes. And then hopefully, while we're doing the Bombay potatoes, the, na the naan that we're going to make now is going to go in the oven and then we'll do the Bombay's, alright? Right, now, so I'm using some butter for this. Alright, that's all I want to do. I just want to get a bit of butter in there. And this is going to help. Oh yeah, man, I'm feeling that, that, that vibe, man. And this is going to help get the dough sorted out. So let's do it. Let's stop yabbering and let's do it. First thing we want to do, right, I'm going self raising flour. Now, I've done this last time on my spinach and cheese naan. That was a bit loud. I've done my... And they come out alright. I thought they come out okay. So... Uh, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, fuck it, that'll do. If it's any more, then what can I say? Alright, it's not a lot I can do. The pole I'm using is a lot bigger than last time, so, like I said, we ain't got measuring business going on here. Uh, we've got the opposite of measuring, which is uh, no measuring. So that's just how that is at the moment. Right, uh, I want to season it. So I know I want to do that. A bit of salt. I'm going to put in a bit, bit of black pepper as well. So just that sort of dude. That is why we do it like it is. Right, I'm going to put some almond flake uh, powder in there as well. Because I want to give this naan a really nice taste of the... Uh, not, you know, we've got, we're going to have the keema meat in there as well. And then the dough's going to be like all 
garlicky and fucking almondy. It's going to be like mega mental. But like, we're not talking like, oh, it's going to be a bit mental. No, it'd be mega mental. Now, also what we're going to whack in is I want to whack in, and I've just, I just literally thought of it now actually. We're going flakes, very fine flakes of the green chilli. Now it's a mild chilli, it's not ridiculous, it's not going to blow your head off, but the reason why I want to do that is because I was going to put some um, some coriander leaves in the dough, but I just thought no, no let's give the dough its own glow, so that is why we're not going that slow. You know, just see how brilliant I am. I'm just too amazing. It's like, you know, we are talking, frankly, triple Michelin. I know, I think we should have a vote. I think we should have a vote and say, should the charge be triple Michelin? And I think the answer will always be, no matter how many times you run it, 100% yeah. Of course, he's just too alleged. I know, it's a shit, I mean, look, I feel it for all the amateurs out there that struggle to comprehend my amazing ability to do stuff, it's, it's, I feel for you, I really do, and I'm struggling with the pain, I really am, right, now, yoghurt, this is controversial, I, I, some people don't, oh, I'm gonna, right, so we want about one, two. I've noticed if you do add quite a bit of yogurt, it's very silky. So I'm doing that, and if I have to add more flour, then I will. Alright? That's just that's just common courtesy, right? It's like, you know, I'm walking down the road and there's some old faggot struggling. To where it's chopping in a car, do you stop and help up? Yeah, you do. You add in flavour to society, right? And that's what that's what this is all about. It's all about people out there going, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I can fucking make a korma. I can make a, a fucking roast dinner. I can do whatever that. You know, there's no one there stopping me saying, no, you can't. Because you can. Yeah? And I know, and it's alright, you don't have to start like panicking or anything, and I know that people are going to say, well, you know, all we can do is try to emulate the sergeant, but it's just like almost impossible, and it is, but it doesn't matter because you can do your best, you know. And there we go, and that's all I'm saying. Now, I was going to put sliced garlic in the naan, but I thought, fuck it, let's crush it instead. So, there we go. And that is what I've done. So, there we go. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a slow day at work today. Not much, uh, not much going on, really. Um, so I've done uh, basically quite a bit of cleaning because uh, that is part of my job, you know. You know, there's been many times when I'll be doing something and someone will say, like, why are you doing that? And I'll say, well, um, it sort of is part of my job to, to keep the kitchen clean, or as, as clean as I can, you know. I mean, I know I'm super duper, but there are limitations, all right? Right, now, water. So let me show you what we've got in now. So we've got the yogurt, the salt, the almond powder, um, pepper, black pepper, uh, and some sliced green chilies. And now we're going to add the buttered garlic. All you've got to do is just get it just slightly mulch, like just slightly, you know, doing its own thing. We'll do that. There we go. Look at that. Let's get that in now. And that is gold. And that's what gold is. 
It's not the, it's not the yellow stuff that you think it is. No, it ain't. It's this. This is gold. This is where the metal meets the road. And I've got a funny feeling I'm going to need more flour. I just know it. I've got that feeling inside. I either make too much dough or I don't make enough. Right, a little bit of water. Don't go overboard. And now let's just mix this in. So I'm not used to this bowl. This bowl is slightly bigger than what I'm used to. more flour to be honest with you. So I was going to add a little bit more water in there and that sometimes can be a very big mistake. You'll add, you'll think oh it needs a bit more water and actually no it doesn't. What it needs is a bit more flour and for you to have balls of steel right like and proper knowledge of what we're doing. And that's all it takes that's the difference yeah that's the difference between Steve in a burger van and a bit of Ramsey you know it just takes that courage it takes that you know that knowledge and that skill level and that willing and ability to do it so I reckon I put in about five of them teaspoons of flour now so we just want to do it until it starts to to be able to clump up around this stick or around the end of this spoon comfortably without you struggling that's when you know so this is about number six I think so that's when you know that you've got stuff going on so now we can really mix it up really get it involved and then it starts to clear its actual bowl itself, right? So it will start, it will start clearing the bowl itself, okay? We're still not quite there, right? Let me show you. So, there we go. So we can see, as we whiz this round, right, it will start to collect all the little lumps and bits and bobs at the bottom of the bowl. And that's when you know that you're, you're getting there, right? If it's not doing that, and you've been a donut and had too much water, then you'll use the whole packet of that, and you miles, you know what I mean? You'll just be there all day. So, little and often, or in this case, just little. So it's really starting to pick up the rest of that that dough now. So I'm going to leave that. We've got a nice stiff peak and that's a classic sign of that Sergeant has created more Michelin styled stuff. And that's all I need to say. So we're just too, it's just too, it's just too much. I can't, I can't, I can't, sometimes I stagger myself I mean, to it. And this is like part five, right? Now, I know I did say, I was going to, I know I did say I was going to try and do this all in one video, that was bollocks, that was never, that was so unlikely to happen, it was like amazing, you know what I mean, it was like about as unlikely to happen as, I don't know, the fucking Falkland Islands winning the World Cup, ain't it? I know a lot of people out there want it to happen. That it ain't right? Right, okay, so what we're going to do now is I want to add a little tiny bit of ordinary olive oil, not extra virgin like I did fucking last time, but just ordinary olive oil and just get it mixed in there. We just want to get it covered That's it. and get it nice and silky. It's a very silky dough. Okay, it's very smooth. Alright, and we've done that for a reason. That's the yogurt. So now I'm getting ready for more. I'm just going to use that actually. I'll just use that. Um, let's put it in my hands first so we're ready. There we go. 
Okay, so we just want nice little movements around the board, collect all that dough. It's a very light dough, it's very smooth and silky. Like I said, it's got a lot of flavour in there now. You know, we've got the flecks of chilli, green chilli, alright? It's not a bird's eye chilli, it's just uh, the bigger ones that aren't that, aren't that ridiculous, you know. And we just want to just really create that nice, very pliable dough look. It's, I mean, fucking hell, if any, any bakers are out there watching this, they must be thinking, fucking hell, man, this, this geezer is almost, almost better than me. Actually, probably are, he's better than me. And I probably am, I don't mean to brag, it's just, it's just, it's just one of them things, you know, it's just a case of you've either got that knack and that knowledge of of being it clean and uh, someone who aspires to do it you know it's just so I'm not needing this too hard I want to keep it nice and supple okay so on a nice clean supple dough right, okay so just like that there we go, so you can see all the green flakes of chilli in there and the almond powder in there as well. That's going to be like, it's going to be ultra awesome. Like, right, it won't not be, it just will be. So, there we go. So that oven is on. I've got that on about one, it's about 170 I reckon. So, now, before I do anything, I need to do a little bit of oh, a little bit of rearranging. And everyone's gonna be thinking, what the shit is that? That that is the monster. So now what I want to do is I need the butter. Now before this goes in, I mean I want to use butter because I like butter because of the flavour and the colour that it gives. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. And you're thinking, what, well, what is he using butter for? Well, when I we're making a quinoa, aren't we? So, all right, I'll show, you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Don't worry, just chill out. I am on the case. So. So this is where the dough is going to go in. And I just want to oil that pan. I want to make sure this naan does not stick. So it's all around the outside of the edges, all in there, everywhere. Make sure it's oiled, all right? Very important. If you fuck this part up, that's it. It is literally game over. Because it will probably stick to the pan and you won't be able to get it out and then you'll be thinking oh fucking shit like that exactly lots of lots of uh lots of o effing effing arse going on all day long all day long in your household loads of that right let's do it this is very tactical now we are talking strategic moves right we are talking strategic. I don't know what to do on the uh, publishing front. I don't know whether to make a part six. I mean, I think I might make just this, making a known actual video in itself. So this is a part five. I think we will be cutting it and doing a part six. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because otherwise it would just be too long. All right. Uh, I know it's been the marathon, not a sprint, but there we go. Right, so. Let's get it sorted out, alright? We just want to flatten it. I don't want to do anything too mental, alright, to this at all. Just, just do it with your hands. A little bit of movement, a bit of flour on your hands, remember. Rub it in. Same as the other side, otherwise it will stick. 
Like we've just literally got away with that by sheer luck. To be honest with you, that was that was very close, very close indeed. That was almost a disaster, folks. To be honest with you. Right now, be quick with this because we need to get it shaped in that pan. And that is where this is going to go right now in the pan as it is. It doesn't matter about a hole. Don't worry about. That's why I say you have to get this in quick. All right. Because we're shaping, we're trying to shape the naan in the pan itself that it's going to be cooking in. Alright, that's the whole idea. There we go. Right, now we've got the keema mince. Now, I'm going to literally shape the keema mince in the bowl. I'm not even going to get it out and transfer it or anything like that. I'm just going to thin it out, spread in the bowl, like that. We'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh, shit. Right, ish. Right, let's just whack the quinoa mints in. It doesn't matter, it's fine. And now just gently keep that quinoa mints in the centre. Right, and now we're just going to lift up the dough itself, like that, and like that, and then like that, and there we go, and now we shape it, and I'm doing it in the pan because I just want to keep it in there, alright, I don't want to worry about any transferal issues, alright. Oh fuck it, who cares? Right. Right, I don't want to worry about any transferal issues of this chemo mince. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just give it a shake. Okay, and now I'm just gonna give it a brush with butter. But I've done the vegetable one, I've done it with a uh, yogurt. And it come out fine, but I just want to use butter just to see if there's any difference. Now it doesn't matter what it looks like, what it is, it's about how it fucking tastes like. Right? And it should taste pretty mental. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this one actually, it smells it up. Now I did miss a little bit of the quinoa mint out, but by the time I realised I'd already wrapped this up, I'm not going through that process again. Right, now you see what I mean? We do not have to do a transfer, okay? So we're just whacking the oven now, and I'm gonna whack that in. All right, so I'm gonna whack that in. Metal handle pan, proper kitchen pan. You all wanna be whack, whack, whack around the face with this, this lad, I tell you. But it's on about 170, and that's in there for about, I don't know, fucking 20, 30 minutes. We will see. Right, I'm going to call that a day. I'm going to call that a part fiver. And coming up in part six will be um, the uh, doing the Bombay potatoes. And the naan should be ready to come out. And then we can crack on with everything else. See you in the next one.